everybody. The Spell Tower. Yes, once again, sorry for running late on the stream. We are playing the last three chapters of Mortal Kombat 1 To move an army that large among realms, he'll need a portal, yes? And I'm starting it off More of than one. last you scene we was at on the last video. Portal gateways. It must be nearby. We follow them, they will lead us to it. Agreed. But we cannot strike until Raiden and Kung Lao arrive. That was, uh, that the Lin Kuei won't aid us is unforgivable. That was some plot has twist on the last the video, also. When this crisis ends, we will deal with that one. This is but the opening battle in a longer war. Titan Shang Tsung has prepared his entire timeline for it. We cannot match its strength. My counterpart said that your battle with him ripped time's fabric, creating two timelines. But how do we know that it wasn't torn further? If there are two timelines, can't there be more? Please, Why leave the a like and subscribe, by the way. You said we lack I'd strength. really appreciate it so We much. might find it in other timelines. How would we do that? We gather allies from across timelines, other titans, to build an overwhelming force. If they exist. If we have no exist. proof that they do. We must fight the battle in front of us. We can't stake our survival on pure conjecture. If Liu Kang is right, the battle in front of us is already lost. This may be our only hope. Giris, your thoughts? It is possible. But as I am only the Hourglass's steward, such a search is beyond me. It can only be undertaken by the Keeper of Time. And I no longer wield that power. You may be able to regain it. What? How do you mean? When you gave up control of the Hourglass, I worried that one day you would find you needed it. So rather than let your power dissipate, I collected it. To this day, it remains safely stored. Why did you never tell me this? Because the process of restoring your power is likely irreversible. Returning to the life you have now, as Earthrealm's protector, a life you cherish, may be impossible. And you did not want me tempted to make that sacrifice, unless it was absolutely necessary. Correct. Thank you, Giris. You have saved us with your wisdom. Peer pressure, Liu Kang. Now, where have you stored my power? We must retrieve it. It is at the Fire Temple, stored in the Jade Jaguar gifted to you by the great Kung Lao. My bad, I forgot how long this cutscene is. Yes, Giris. Liu Kang has proven more resilient than anticipated. He and his comrades have escaped the fortress. Forget the others. Find Liu Kang. He alone threatens my plans. I wonder if that's the Garrus from uh, Mortal Kombat 11. You could have picked no well, better vessel to store my right, power. Well, he is well, I've always treasured the great Kung Lao's gift. It reminds me of his meticulous nature. In his generous heart. Once we retrieve the Jade Jaguar, we will proceed to the Hourglass. There, we will transfer the temporal power stored within it to you. It now occurs to me that all along, you have had unfettered access to the power stored within. You could have taken it, become Keeper of Time, but chose not to. Why? Because I have faith in your vision for this new era. I am content to be its guardian. Thank you, Giras. Now, this process you propose, you are sure it will restore my power? As sure as I can be of one that has been neither tried nor tested. But even if successful, it is not guaranteed that you will find any other timelines or allies. They may not exist. <sighs> I pray this is not a fool's errand. I hate leaving the others behind. 
Your champions will bolster their strength against the dragon army. It is sure to be the mother of all battles. May the Elder Gods protect them. My ex was so wrong. Uh, the 30k I spent on this seems like a steal right now. This magic is incredible. Magic. Not magic, <laughs> your loveliness. Technology. Either way, it's clear what must happen next. The gateways and the dragon army have to be destroyed. Scorpion, have you a plan? We must divide our forces. You, Shang Tsung, Quan Chi, will use your magic to attack the portals. As you do, Kenshi and Jared will grind down the dragon army. The rest of us will attack our dark doubles. If they're defeated, it will hopefully throw the dragon warriors into disarray. An astute strategy. Truly, I could not have devised a better one. Enough with the empty flattery. If you want our trust, give us actions, not words. He's sassy. Sassy son. It is time. Dark shell. Spread. It will be the end of all things. Armageddon. Yeah. Armageddon. Something tells me this is going to be pretty action packed. Dark Shao looks like a. like a. He looks like a elf. The other guy in the glasses, but I guess it's, that's Ken Shang. That is unfortunate. <laughs> the battle continues, Shang Tsung. Quan Chi, with me. I, for one, am not pleased we were double-crossed. It is an ire I share. May I suggest we harness our anger and use it to obliterate my doppelganger's minions. Fight! <laughs> I haven't really played as Shang Tsung yet on here. At least I don't think I have. Nice. I mean, yes, I could look at the the moves list, but uh, I don't know. It's more fun this way. I don't know what that means when I turn 
This pair will trouble us no more. There are more who acquire our attention. Welcome, sorcerers. Is it me, or is that Raiden becoming insufferable? You are not wrong, but it is tomorrow's problem. Let us first solve today's. You're right, Ponchi. You are very right about that. Problem solved. I'm shocked that he's not like stealing their souls. Two of five. It's progress. Now on to the next. <laughs> Dark Hill. It's like an enemy you see from like Skyrim or something. Did you see that? His life force is feeding the portal's energy. We kill him, we close them permanently. These meddling minions grow tiresome. Let us finish them. Oh, that Fight. is an awesome costume. I want that scorpion costume. Not that great 
Shanks. So much for fire and ice. I will say thank you. Uh, I've never Raiden. been better. Fools. Your spell worked before only because you surprised me. It won't happen again. Fight. Bruh. Time to take down another version of Big Bad Shell. Oh! Hey, this time he act Yeah, this time his name actually says Shao Kahn. Not general, so. Oh yeah, he's actually got the hammer this time. Uh, like old times, not the axe. I do, I do like Shao with an with an axe, so it's pretty cool. Just, uh...
Her soul is ours. He's trapped. All of the other realms in this timeline are safe. Never forget, Raiden, that we risked our lives to perform this service. One that wouldn't have been needed if you hadn't conspired with the other Shang Tsung. They will fight to the last man. Come, we must help the others. Wow. Shang Tsung didn't even, uh like bicker about it he's like okay chapter 14 time of death luke kang that better not be his death luke kang better not die in this one are you ready to begin the search ready enough may there be other timelines and titans to find You are among friends. What's happened? Which katana is Where this? am I? A long way from home. In a different timeline, to be precise. What? Are you also a... A keeper of time? Yes. Both of us? How is that possible? The battle for Kronika's hourglass ripped apart time's fabric. Where there once was one timeline, there are now many. Each new timeline represents a different Am possible a outcome of that battle. They're in position. In mine, I became Time's Keeper. In yours, it was you. In others, it could be Jade, Sindel, even Kano. <laughs> the possibilities are endless. Even Kano? If many timelines sprung from one, and we were both part of it, then you are... The same one who battled you in Shang Tsung's courtyard. Who fought at your side at the Colosseum. Who beamed with pride when you became Outworld's Khan. Finally! They kiss, finally. Why does fate seem always to conspire against us? Deny us life's simple pleasures. I don't know. Perhaps in one of the many timelines, they are ours. Please give Liu Kang a very happy found, ending in this one. But I know. Well, you it was a happy ending on the last game too. What duty beckons us? I will tell you. But first, we must gather more of our old friends. Shang Tsung, Titan, wielding the power of the Hourglass? Yes, Kung Lao. He is a threat to all timelines. He is not yet aware Old of Raiden. any beyond his Original. and Liu Kang's. For now, it is only a matter of time. I had hoped my victory over Kronika would end the endless cycle of combat. Sadly, it begins anew. We have no choice. We must stop Shang Tsung. The, the millions in my White Lotus Society will aid us, if needed. From the past games? Thank you, my friends. He is here. You have 
have found allies. Titan allies, in fact. How could I have been so blind? Of course our timelines aren't the only two. Retreat to yours, Shang Tsung. Your attempt to merge timelines has failed. Yes. Your comrades proved most resourceful. Thus, I have resigned myself to simply destroying your timeline. Knowing that others exist to conquer makes that choice much more palatable. Once I destroy your hourglass, your timeline will cease to exist. I will take great pleasure in finishing you one last time. I know what you'll do before you do it. Likewise. Let's hope our advantage proves decisive. Fight! Is that Baraka's real, or Tat Baraka's real hair? On his side. Should we survive this battle? Fight. Yeah, I don't remember if I mentioned this, but yeah. Like, every every game Tanya is in, she's like a traitor, pure evil.
twins far more evil than you. Fight! It says there's 15 chapters in this game, and yeah, Liu Kang is chapter 14. Wonder if there's chapter 15. Back to your timeline, brothers. We have little time. The hourglass is failing. Then let us end this now. Be good girls and kill them, won't you? As you command, Shang Tsung. Katana and I will fight them. You save the hourglass. Yes, Liu okay. Kang. Cannot save it. I don't know which of them is worse. Both are cracked reflections of me. They are abominations. Neither will survive this fight. Fight! Uh -oh.
Once Shang Tsung is finished, you will be too. You will be Is you. Thank you, everyone, for your aid. This battle was won together. Shang Tsung is gone, but he's not defeated. He will be back to renew his campaign. Not only against this timeline, but against all timelines. Our choice is clear. We must take the fight to him. Destroy any power he has to make war against us. Agreed. Cheng Sung is likely already gathering allies as I gathered you. We must best his efforts. Assemble an overwhelming army from across all timelines. We're going to war. Whoa, whoa, hold up. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Choose fighter. Uh, I don't know. Um. Okay, I didn't expect that. Um. You know, I, I've been, uh, doing really good with the uh, uh, Scorpion invasion mode, so. I'll pick Scorpion. together to rid all timelines of your evil. The threat you pose to them ends today. So we're such, seeing such like shout on at them like at Blue Kang This battle will end in your favor. It can end no other way. Because across all timelines, the arc of history bends toward justice. Does it? In this timeline, it bends toward me. Behold, Liu Kang, the hell I unleash upon you. Quanchi walking like a zombie. See a Kano version of Sonya? Oh my gosh, that's a lot. Hey, this is like this is like Armageddon remake. I love it. I always loved the intro of uh, the original Armageddon. I 
he's gonna be up there. self-preservation. Fight! Reptile. Female reptile. Also, these are like all mixed. I love that. Savage. <laughs> oh man. Okay, upset. That, that, that's great. That is great. Oh, but Johnny Savage. It's a Barack and Johnny Cage, obviously, but Johnny Savage. That is cool. He's got the shades on and Barack. He's got, yeah, Johnny Cage's shades and uh, Baraka's teeth. Oh, in the hair. Can you imagine, like, a cocky a Baraka like Johnny Cage? Or imagine Baraka with, like, Johnny Cage's personality. Not so pretty. version of Sonya. There it is. I can't wait for you to rack off and die. Fight. Liu Kang and Kano? <laughs> Terminator. Alright, so is this Shao Kahn and Johnny Cage and Shao Kahn? Oh, 
Let's, uh... Cassie Cage oh, and, uh... Cassie Cage and them. Thank you, Kitana. You're welcome. Now hurry. There's no time to waste. I am. Your blood will be delicious, chill. Fight. Oh, frostbite. Ah, frostbite. Ah, like... Man, Cassie got beheaded. Decapitated. Garrison Crunchy. Assist me, Quan Chi. Scorpion, you are almost there. Uh. You won't like how this ends. Female hey, Scorpion. <laughs> of the of the courtyard thing. Cyber smoke.
another scorpion. Follow me. Your defenses have failed, Shang Tsung. This is over. I do not think so. Realize, sorcerer, that you've brought this on yourself. Avarice and Ego have again proved your undoing. We have no choice but to eradicate you. It is you who will be eradicated. You and your followers. And once you are dead, all timelines will be mine. This was it. Your position is precarious. To survive, you must submit. Yes. The question you must ask is, if Liu Kang couldn't finish us, how possibly could you? Fight. <laughs> Havoc. And they called me the chosen one. I am honored, Liu Kang. Shall we finish this? You have done more than enough. Please permit me to end this. <laughs> May that be the last we see of you. What's happening? Timeline. Without Shang Tsung to hold it together, it's falling apart. You must return to your timeline before this one collapses. Thank you for your aid, Scorpion. May we one day meet again. I'm telling you, the locations we found here are money. I mean, look at this. Don't the rainbow colors on these mountains just scream, Outworld? I cannot believe you'll be telling our story about how we defeated Shang Tsung. Well, the studio thinks it's fiction, not fact. <laughs> but I don't care, as long as it's covering the budget. <laughs> I assume you'll be the star. Nope. I'm behind the camera, writing and directing. Time to let someone younger and prettier take the lead. You know, I've written in parts for all of you, if you want them. 
us on screen? I mean, they're cameos. But like they say, there are no small parts. Thank you, Johnny. Mm -hmm. But we must decline. But Raiden... The new initiates arrive tomorrow. Yeah. We must return to the Wuxi to begin their instruction. Of course, you are right. What about you, Takahashi? I need a blind swordsman. And no actor can do what you do. <laughs> I would love to. But my work to revive the Tyra is starting to pay off. I can't let up now. Well, I know better than to ask you. Your plate is always full. <laughs> Indeed, Johnny Cage. Which is why I must now depart. Off to Outworld? To advise the Empress? Between her father and her sister, Melina is receiving plenty of good advice. And with the sorcerers and the general imprisoned, there are few threats to her rule. Is something wrong, then? I am simply shoring up our defenses. As you know, Bi Han and his Lin Kuei have abandoned their roles as Earthrealm's guardians. His brother, Kuai Liang, has agreed to build a new clan, the Shirai Ryu, to take its place. I must go aid his efforts. Is there anything we can do? Not yet. But I will call upon all of you when the time comes. Madame Bo, once again you have served an excellent meal. That's kind of you to say. Oh. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And thank you. All of you. You have served well as Earthrealm's champions. No, Liu Kang. Thank you. Joining up with you really has changed the arcs of our lives. I am glad. His eyes! Like, the, his face! All right, gentlemen. If you're finished, there's only one thing left to do. Which one of you gets the bad news? <laughs> Not me. I'm still three mil in the hole on Sento. How, uh, thick's your wallet, Takahashi? Thick enough. But seems to me our hosts are on the hook. They did invite you us. You think we yeah. have money? The Shaolin live modestly. <laughs> Realms are in safe hands. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. All right. I went ahead and muted the crit and credits just in case. I really enjoyed the story mode, for sure. I I, I can hear I can hear, uh, yeah I can I can hear the sound. I, okay, it's distracting me, <laughs> but um. Yeah, it's some... It almost sounds like Eminem. Is that Eminem? Uh, I, I don't know. Anyways, uh, yeah. Uh, 10 out of 10. Uh, my review of the story mode for Mortal Kombat 1. 10 out of 10, easily. Uh, normally, I don't care much for reboots and all that stuff, but Netherrealm, you know, Mortal Kombat, they do really, really good with the reboots, though. So, Yeah. I really enjoyed that, and I love seeing, uh, I love seeing, uh, you know, certain characters have, like, not saying redemption arcs, but like, uh, you know, like characters like Baraka and Reptile, Melina, you know, like characters that were kind of like pushovers like back then because, you know, they were the evil characters, so they never really got much, as much screen time or story time. It was really good to see that for a change and how they, uh, it was really good to see how they, uh, you know, I, I don't know how to say it. It's really good to see them from, like, a narrative point and all that stuff, like, you know, involved throughout the story, like, helping out the good guys. That's pretty awesome. Oh, whoa. Hold up.
I was getting a little suspicious, like, if there may be a credit scene. So. Oh, I got his arms ripped again. Struggles. Everyone who fought today did so fiercely. <laughs> Had I not been here for it, I would have thought it impossible. Warriors from across timelines clashing in combat. <laughs> the blood, the death. The chaos. Yes, Lord Havoc. It's unfortunate it all ended so fast. The next time, it won't. So Havoc is going to be the next villain? Big bad villain? That's interesting. That would be really cool to see. Yeah, because, I mean, we haven't really explored Havoc that much. Yeah, you know, like the big bads were always like Shang Tsung, Shao Kahn, and, uh, you know... Well, Shinnok, like a couple of games he was, but, um... But yeah, usually it was like mainly them, but, uh... Well, and Kronika... You know, yeah, Kronika was the villain in the regular Mortal Kombat 11, but you know she was a you know she was a brand new villain, but uh, Havoc was around you know a long time ago, and yeah, he was only like in two games before this one, but uh, yeah, and of course you know well Shang Tsung is the main bad guy in the aftermath of Mortal Kombat 11, and he's a bad guy. All right, so. From what it looks like, the main villain in this game, it's uh, Titan Shang Tsung slash Deadly Alliance in a different way. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I guess uh, I'm going to mute this for another minute. I'm going to... I was going to... I'm gonna let the credits, uh, yeah, let the credits play out a little bit, uh, in case there's, like, another scene or something, but, um, man, I just can't get up, get over how awesome that story mode was, man, yeah, I really do hope there'll be, uh, I really do hope there'll be an expansion story mode, like, how they did Mortal Kombat 11, you know, with the aftermath. But then again, yeah, like, if they did that, then would ha I guess Havoc would be the villain in that one. Um, because, yeah, obviously a Mortal Kombat 13. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't see that coming out probably for, like, another six, seven, eight years. Um, but, you know, uh, NetherRealm, uh, you know, everybody's wanting NetherRealm to release Injustice 3, you know, after they get done with this one. But, um, but I really think they should have a whole royale of characters in this one. You know, just for the heck of it, like, uh, get as much, yeah, get as much regular fighters and cameos as they can. Because that would be awesome. And I liked... And, you know, Mortal Kombat Armageddon was an okay game. The only reason I liked it was because they brought back every fighter. But I had some complaints about it, which uh, the obvious one was the creative fatality. But, uh... 
Yeah. Um, I don't know if there is going to be a... Uh, yeah. I'm going to unmute that again and hit skip movie. Seasonal content. You defended the new era from Shang Tsung, but your adventure has just begun. Right. What just happened? <laughs> Invasions will take you on a single player across the... Oh, yeah. I've already been doing... Invasion. Alright. Well. That was... That was my playthrough slash reaction of the Mortal Kombat 1 story mode, and I'm very glad to, I got to share that with y'all. Uh, man. That, that was, like I said, that was a really good story. I enjoyed that a whole lot. Ed Boon, all them, Netherrealm, they do great with these stories. With the story modes. You know, the Injustice games, they did really awesome with those story modes, too. But, uh, but anyways, everybody, uh, I'm going to go ahead and jet on out. I'm craving me some ice cream. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, and please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I hope y'all are having a great day and have, have a great day in the future. I'm Bell Tower. Thank y'all so much for watching. And I will see y'all on the next video. Stay golden, everybody. And may the Elder Gods watch over you. <laughs> or may the Elder Gods be with you. Something like that. Eh. Mm -hmm. Have a good one, y'all.